All right, welcome back. Week 18 now. We're coming up on 20. That's crazy. But you know the drill by this point. I don't got to do too much introduction. We're here with KW6S, and Hi. for the first time in quite a while now, we've got Zonies here. Yeehaw! We are back in town. Uh, up on the screen now, I have the previous week's rules, which was to convert a, any existing coaster you can think of into a new style. But with that out of the way, let's just get right into it here. So this first one is going to be by Matrix Coasters. And I'll tell you what the, uh... Well, we'll see if you can guess what the, uh, original ride was supposed to be first. Oh, steel curtain. <laughs> Gee. As a bee now. That's cool. I feel like that's not a wing. Sit oh, down. sit down, okay. Yeah. Oh, just a proper cover roll. <laughs> yeah. They called this one Iron Shutters. Oh, I see. That's a good. Of course. Ooh. Close on the lamppost. Cobra. Cobra instead of the banana. I still have not ridden this. Really? Oh, super. I have ridden it. I live like One ride. that's I, that's crazy because I live like three hours away now. Oh yeah. And it's it's just always been closed for the season. I don't have I don't have any yeah. reason to go back. Yeah, I got I got lucky. I guess um, it was oh, yeah. good, but like not great. Although it was like starting to warm up on me, and riders was starting to warm up on That's me. That's interesting. Rain came in, and then like uh, didn't get to ride it anymore. They shut yeah. it down. Phantom stayed open, so I rode Phantom a few more times. In <laughs> heavy pelting rain. Yeah, last time I was there, it rained, like, really heavily. And the time before the that, it rained, too. So I've, I've only ever been to that park when it was raining. Yeah, B&M Steel Curtain. Yeah, we got the Zero-G roll here instead of the stall. Makes sense. Very fascinating. This is an interesting uh, thing here. I'm a fan, though. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's certainly one way to do it. Very yeah, nice. it's a nice like ride. The supports are probably a little dense for being up in some places. That's true, but how do you do how do you do supports like this that aren't yeah, it's a for a ride like this that isn't steel curtain? Yeah. And they also said in the comments they said all scenery by coaster mine place the coaster in the in his recreation recreation of the park of steel curtain to mimic the environment, but the coaster and supports are all his. Very nice. Awesome. All right, let's take a look at the next one here. All right, this one is by Coaster Breakdown. I'm having a hard time recognizing. Is this was this like an RMC conversion of a different wood coaster? I'm not I feel, sure. I feel it's definitely like an RMC conversion of a GCI. I'm just trying to figure out which GCI. Right. Is it Thunderhead? That it is. Because, like, I thought about, like, the speed hill going over the pre-lift. Right. And I was like, oh, Thunderhead. Yeah, they called it Steel Thunder, and it's a conversion. Or I don't know if it's a conversion or an interpretation of a Thunderhead. I would say that a straight conversion isn't quite what I was going for with the, the rules this week. Because I know it's, like, a new interpretation of the layout but the, the new rmc layouts are so like drastically different from what the original one is like adding in elements and everything that that wasn't really Imagine what it was going for group thunderhead. yeah this seems to be we got a couple new elements here and there like that's only one interesting Booster launch let's go yeah and i don't think thunderhead goes back through the structure that way originally but that's fine i'm not familiar enough with thunderhead's layout oh, i love thunderhead so much i know it by heart this yeah. is new i mean like look at what like rmc does with wildcat right yeah 
yeah, not quite the same like layout placement, but it's the same element order of elements, which is fine. Just a couple added in here and there that break it up a little bit differently. Like this is really one speed hill and then overbank in, so you got an extra like overbank yeah. in the back. Very cool though. Interesting to see how the GCI conversion went since they've only done two now. And one of them is like not good. Right. Or at least not very good. Yeah. But very nice here. They said, tried my best to stay with the original layout. The size of the elements is off, so the brake run isn't in the same spot. Fair enough. Still made sure it was really far from the station. Meant for the most basic RMC name, and trains are from Coaster Pete. Yeah, they called it Steel Thunder. Very nice. Let's see the next one here. Should have called it Steelhead. Steelhead. <laughs> All right, this one is by Grand Crackers. And the additional comments are Erm what the Sigma. Thank you. Copper is strike. Yeah, that was fast. Ooh, is this a uh, is this a infinity version? Yep. Seems to I be. Know. I saw I saw the train shadow look like infinity. Yeah, I I kinda saw like how far off that lift. was from the this Oh that's thing. funny. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> There's on right audio that you said earlier. Yeah, did I hear that? <laughs> did I hear I that correctly? <laughs> this would make a pretty good infinity layout, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna hopefully be riding Copperhead Strike in August for the first time. Nice. Yay. Copperhead's really good. It's so fun for its size. I feel like nobody talks about it. Still got the launch. Yeah, it is really good. It's not quite like, you know, like Maverick Killer, like people were saying when it opened, but. Yeah, no, it's a different kind of beast. It's so like, it's so like solid. The beast is at King's Island. It's better Fine, than I meant like multi-launch. Like, I'm, it's I'm more... <laughs> <laughs> I would almost argue it's like, Actually, I'm not sure if I'd say it's as varied as, like, more varied than Maverick. I would say it's almost as varied as Maverick. Where it, a lot, where it does a lot really well. I'd agree with that. It has, like, little spurts of, like, everything in Copperhead's layout. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say it does hang time exceptionally well. Yes, for sure. And the airtime launch, even though it doesn't... You know, that was, like, one of the first ones on, like, a proper coaster. Even though it doesn't give, like, ejector or anything. Still, just the fact that it's not straight breaks up the pacing yeah. yeah or i guess doesn't break up the pacing and it keeps it really flowing well yeah i mean an air time launch like that on a family like copperheads on a family ride would be like perfect like what speedboat in uh wallaby belgium has like that's the perfect use for that kind of airtime hill launch in my opinion right yeah like if you're gonna do a floater and if you're gonna like... do ejector pantheon or that style mm -hmm. what is this I have no idea. What is this track? Oh, the track? I don't know if this is supposed to be Hurler or not, but... Yeah, it doesn't look like Hurler. Yeah, that's not the contest submission this is. But this one's very cool. Love to see it. Yes, this is called yeah. Moonshiner. And it's originally Copperhead Strike by Grand Crackers. Very nice. Let's see the next one here. All right. This one is by TB. Interesting. I, I think it's pretty yeah. obvious with the original layout. SMH B and M track connectors. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Ooh. I like that. I have a quick printer question. Printer question? A printer question, yeah. Um, 
I'm gonna send a pic in the chat, and I want you guys to tell me if I should yeah. restart the friend or not. Very slow entry into that. Very slow uphill launch. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, go for it. Uh, I look in general chat. Very wacky. I always oh, forget oh. that Olympia had Emelman's. Ooh, airtime yeah. in between. That's cool. <laughs> Oh, was the contest really supposed to be, like, not cool. change the layout much at all? It was supposed to be, like, change it too much as long as it wasn't, like, adding, you know, like, brand new, like, sections to the ride or something. Like, this is still, this is still really good. We, you know, you change one to a non-inverting loop because that's what Intamin would do. Yeah. Or, like... This is definitely one. just a... A really hard thing to convert into something as exciting as an instrument because it's just it's so compact already like how do you make a layout yeah, like this I mean, that it, much better it's compact but it's also just it's a lot of very basic circles and turns yeah the original yeah, there's, all, there's only so much you can do something advanced yeah but you did a really good job with this this is really cool they called it intimate looping <laughs> And it's obviously Olympia looping. They said the clearance is tight in some places, but passes. It's a fair ride, so it needs to feel sketchy in some places. That's true. <laughs> I like this big outer bank, too. Very nice. All right, wait, yeah, let me, let me see this restart. Yeah, I would restart that. That's peeling. It peeled. Yeah. It, like, fully came off. Yeah, I would, re I would restart that. <laughs> just, like, <laughs> Do you want me to down? Do you want me to put this in the video? <laughs> I mean, nah. It's just annoying. Yeah, no, I get it. I'm gonna put the picture on the screen in the video. If you have a 3D printer and it starts peeling like this, restart the print. Yeah. Nah, just send it. And if you want it to Hold stick down. better, if you want it to stick better next time, you can either turn the heat up just a little bit, or what I like to do is put a glue stick down. I've normally used a glue stick, but this is like, this is, um, a P, textured PI plate, so it's supposed to, like, really help with adhesion. I've had issues with it on, like, super long pieces where it'll still come up, but the, the glue yeah. stick still works for that. Okay. You can also, yeah, if, yeah, if, if you've been using it a lot, too, and gotten, like, oils on it or something, you know, like, touching it all over the place, you can also just hit it with, like, soap and water and run it in the sink. And that'll that'll make it a lot stickier. But yeah, this was a cool entry. Entry. We had a 3D printer intermission. Did you just say intrusy? Very nice. What? <laughs> Did you just say intrusy? No. <laughs> Some interesting submission. Uh, uh, you said this was a pretty cool. All right, let's go to the next uh, oh, one here. Oh, I think you flubbed interesting <laughs> yeah, we're and done. entry. I think that's what happened. Yeah, that's that's probably it. All right, this one is by Gizu. Gizu always makes good rides. I'm really curious. To oh, get... the Bismo, but intimate. Oh, starting off with the backwards launch. Yeah, you're 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 right. They called it abysmal. <laughs> Maybe it's less abysmal. I've heard Ooh. not great about abysmal. As much as I know I would enjoy it, people hate it, but I, I know I would like it. Yeah, no, I've heard the trains are like super shaky. Yeah. Well, I'm a, I'm a rocket lover, so. Same. I, I still haven't been on that. Damn, we gotta go. Yeah, we do. Uh, okay. And Before we gotta go court? soon, yeah, I keep hearing that. Yep. Yeah, I would be marathoning it at HHN. This was I was this I was, was very not gonna go to HHN done. this year. Oh sorry. Yeah, this is this is good. I like the yeah. added center support there. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I, I like this one a lot. What were you saying? I, I was gonna say, like, I was not originally planning on going to HHN this year, but since like Rocket is rumored to close in twenty twenty five. I'm gonna go to HHN and just marathon rocket. Nice. I've never been to HHN either, so I don't know. We'll, uh, it's we'll all right. 
we'll a see. lot of people love that event, but I don't really care that much for haunt events. I did it like properly last year, mm -hmm. and I had fun, but it's like it is not something I would feel the need to do every year. Right. But for other people I know, it is something they want to do every year. Yeah, I'm not a big haunt buff, so I've never really either gone out of my way to do things like that. But I know that some people like live and die by those. Yeah, haunts are just like kind of neat to me, but they're not really. Yeah, anything. they're neat, but it's like so busy at the park because of it yeah. that it's like, eh. I'd like to try HHN once because I have so many friends at UCF that are like HHN diehards, and I'd like to go with them at least once. But I've never really like, I've never been a huge, huge fan of Halloween events at parks either. Yeah, but if you're there, then might as well. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, before we move on to the next one, they said this is the Mar Extended Skyloop Park Attractionist at Madrid, redesigned as an Intamin Vertical LSM coaster. You're supposed to have the new Intamin track if you have the mod installed. I don't. Sorry. Uh, great to be back in the contest. Great to have you back in the contest. It's been a little while. But this is a very solid interpretation. Big fan of this one. Especially with the... You know, I, I know that Intamin put out those concepts for like a super compact coaster that's kind of in the same style. Yeah. So this is very uh, true to that, and I like the I like the great sports. Very nice. Mm. All right, let's see the next one. All right, this one is by Anna Werewolf. Gravity is a Gerslauer? That would be it. Huh. They called it anti gravity. Banana roll yeah. instead of the weird, not quite inverting thing. Yeah, this, this is just lost gravity. <laughs> <laughs> well, were, lost gravity doesn't have a full banana roll there. It's got the, oh, it doesn't. the weird half banana roll thing. It's it's like it wants to be a banana roll really it bad. Back or? No, it it's like shaped like a banana roll, except instead of going over to like 135 degrees, it only gets to like 45. Oh, okay, it's just a turn. It's turn. It, it's, I don't even know how to explain it. It like wants to be a wave like, turn, but it's would, not banked enough. I would call it a top hat. It's very strange. Yeah, it's it's a top hat, but it never fully gets to zero. Hat. There you go. Because I feel like top hats always get to zero degrees at the top. Yeah. But like Lost Gravity does not. But this is cool. I like the three car trains. Yeah. Yeah, because it's shaped kind of the same, but instead of 135, it's at 45. So it's like exactly 180 from where it is there. I forget how... I guess this is an S-Hill on the original one? I have ridden it, but it's been quite some time. This, I know, is not a roll. So having a roll there is kind of neat. Other than that, I'd say this is a pretty true to a uh, style interpretation. Very slow there. Yeah. Strong lateral hang time. Which, you know, Gerslar is about that sometimes. Like, Monster at Adventureland. Yeah. Maybe not quite that slow, but, you know, we get the idea. Very nice. Right, let's see the next one here. Alright, this one is by Mr. Oh, Nuke 1000. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and they just Ooh. called it Kumba Fire. I said Drakken Fire or Kumba Fire. They say Dragon Fire is a BM sit down roller coaster. It's a breathtaking ride. It takes riders through seven mind blowing inversions, opening in spring 1992. And then they list a whole bunch of stats. I'm not going to go through all the stats, but we got the same signature corkscrew drop there. I don't think the. Did the original five Dragon Fire have a loop there? 
I do not remember. Yeah, I, I never got to write it. That was watched that, movies. Yeah, that was before my time. I feel like it didn't. I, I don't think Dragonfly ever had a loop. Yeah, I feel I feel like somebody posted I feel I think they posted think, this and I saw it and somebody commented that it didn't have a loop, but that's you know. Yeah. Well, that's I that's what BM would do. I definitely know Drakenfire did not have a zero G roll, it just had an air time hill. Yeah. So that was uh, definitely a change element. That's probably also a good change though. Turn the yeah. cut back into just turning into the interlocking course crew. Makes sense. Did it cut out the helix that's at the end? So, I so I feel like the... Just, yeah, I guess it oh, exchanged, yeah, the, exchanged the oh. helix for the turnaround up here. Oh, the corkscrew and all that stuff is in a very different position from... Wasn't it, like, yeah. over here, maybe? No, it was kind of, like... It was on the far end, like, past the cobra hole. Let me pull up a picture of Draken. Oh, oh, oh it, was it was, like, over like here, over, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, kinda. Okay. I yeah, because it, it would exit the Cobra roll and then like turn around before going to the mid course break run and then do it kind of over to the side of the Cobra roll and come back do a helix before popping into the break run. Interesting. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Clearly, I am an expert on the original Dragonfire layout. Find some pictures and see if I'm correct. This is cool though. It's you know it's still clearly Dragonfire, but also very clearly a BM. Like all the changes. Maybe it wouldn't have closed if it was this version that's dead. Here we go, I found a layout overview. Uh, okay, I think this is a picture after they had removed what- there was like another corkscrew, I think, on this ride that they got rid of at some point. Huh. Fire. I forgot where it was though. This is a cool shot right there. Yeah, this is cool. Awesome. Let's see, uh, see the next one here. All right, this one is by J. Powell. First time submitting for this contest. I know what this is. Do you? Uh, oh yeah, it's Hyperion. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's Hyperion. He so called it. it he, he called it. Hyper Hyper yeah, he called it Hyperion, but B and M. They say B and M's bid for Hyperion. Use this week as an easy excuse to make a B and M, and did a lot of custom fancy B and M stuff just because it could. J Pow is kind of the uh, master of that. Yeah. J Pow and Richard. I didn't know Richard was the... I always just thought J-Pow was. Richard's quite good with B&M as well. Damn, alright. Maybe I got a... I have a B&M that I a, want to make perfect, but I... This would be a pretty banger hypercoaster. It would be. Ooh, speed hill. That's crazy for a B&M. Yeah. These trenches are sick. With like the custom turnaround supports and the lift motor, come on, J-Pow. What is this? Really strong. Uh, the lift motor, just a tower. These are these are these are kind of hype. I, I can't lie. Yeah. And these Shared trenches. Quarters. These trenches are cool. Yeah, those trenches are awesome. What? Are you, how? Do, what are you doing here? Is this a global texture? It's got to be, right? Yeah, that's what it is. That's that's what it is. All right, yeah, good good use of that. But turning this uh, the turnaround thing into a fury dive very that's very B and M. And all the shared supports in places they would be so. Very cool. Very aggressive for a B&M, but uh, true to the contest prompt and style, which is what we like to see. So, very nice. But yeah, I knew, I knew J-Pow was the, like, the B&M expert, and I'd asked him about doing a, 
you know helping me out with the B&M because I want to make the, I want to make the layout but I don't care enough to get the shaving perfect but I'm, I also don't want to like release it if it's gonna suck so maybe maybe I'll have to get in contact with Richard but this one was cool let's take a look, let's take a look at the next one next up this is called well, this one is by one Zenith Looks like Fury. That it is. They called it Centurion. Ah, uh, yes. A 320 foot tall intimate giga that roughly follows the layout of Fury. Some parts are a little off, but the general idea is there. Different style. Okay, so we went for a, from a B&M that took a Hyperia style turnaround and turned it into a Fury style turnaround, and then we turned the Fury style turnaround into a Hyperia style turnaround. That's funny. Yeah, slightly different there, but that's, I I think, much for the better, because that part of Fury is kind of weak. And then just straight toes back in. Gigantic supports here. And then into the brakes. So I'm assuming this like is Hyperia inspiration, but also probably a little bit of Coaster Through the Clouds, oh, yeah. if I'm thinking of the right one. <laughs> that's that's so funny. I love that turnaround. Yeah, this is really cool. I don't remember where I heard it from, or if it has any weight to it. But I had heard at some point that Fury's layout was originally supposed to be an intimate, as it is. Interesting. Sounds like one of those things that people just make up. <laughs> yeah. No, I get. Yeah, as, I as no, I know. <laughs> But it also yeah. is a very not traditional B&M for the rest of it, so I'm... Yeah, it's just enough that you gotta you gotta think about it twice. Because, like, the layout is, for the first half at least, is relatively similar to, like, the Supermans almost. Yeah, I could see that. But this one's cool. Love to see it. Let's... Take a look at the next one here. Alright, this one is by Funky Penguin. Ooh. My question is, which shockwave is it going to be? Oh, uh, not the one I was thinking. I, I don't think it is a specific shockwave. Oh, is this Impulse? That it is. I like Impulse. A lot of people hate that ride, but I like it. I hate well, it. I wouldn't say they hate it. But... I hate it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why? It's, it's like perfectly fine. It is on par with other Zamparlas. <laughs> not Zamparlas, sorry. It is on par with the Gerslauer rides of that scale. I, agree I, I wouldn't that. say it's on par. I'd say it's a little below. I, I, I would say it's on par. And now, Iron Shark is definitely way better than the Iron Shark layout. That layout sucks. Yeah, yeah actually, this is cool as an instrument. It really. Like, this is really cool as an instrument. Yeah. It's like really different. I gotta have that it's long. nowhere near. Or I, I will say that the original impulse, this layout looks better, but it's not really as cool as Wicked is. Because w- like, Wicked, Wicked's kind of awesome. Wicked out. Oh, they added it to the park with all the other ones. That's cool. Uh, Lagoon. <laughs> Oh, okay. Because that, that vertical launch is sick. Oh, yeah. And the, the rest of the ride kind of sucks, but the vertical launch is sick. Oh, I like the Fahrenheit style supports for the for the drop. Yeah, that's really cool. And that's pretty much exactly the original Impulse layout, isn't it? Impulse's layout is pretty... doesn't really have much to it. So that's very cool. Big fan of this one. Awesome. Let's uh, see the next one here. Oh, yeah, and they, they called it Shockwave. Of course, by Funky Penguin. 
This one is by Vertical Thrills. What is going on with my screen? Oh, this is going to be so interesting. Oh, it's Steel Vengeance. Okay, yeah. <laughs> they called it Vengeric. Yeah. Which is originally Vengeance, obviously. They said Steel Vengeance is an intimate LSM coaster. Combining the two best rides at Cedar Point, keeping both at the 205 height and the 74 top speed, follows the same layout path but introduces tons of new elements and surprises. I like the top hat in the middle of the ride in, in place of the yeah. first thing. Oh. Yeah, okay. Swap a big airtime hill for a. Interesting. Very so interesting. The, the stall. The barely a stall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That looks more fun than the real one because the real one. I don't. I don't care for the real one. Why? Yeah, it's fine. Ooh. Oh, is this gonna be a swing oh. launch or is this just gonna be a? No, it's just. Huh, oh. Weird. I feel like a little bit better. It's just a continuous. Weird to slow down there. I don't know. Well, so the main course is on the original, so it makes sense. Yeah, but, I mean. Other mid-course launches don't have to stop. That's true. Mavericks does, though, which is what they said this was combined yeah. with. Oh, good point, yeah. I will... Just need, like, a show building or something. Jeez, Vengeance is gigantic. Yeah. Yeah. And back into the brakes. That is a monster ride. But that's... With as much, like, creative liberty as was taken, that's still very true to the original. Yeah. It's like, like, you really know, this, different looking. Yeah, like, this like, is very different shaped, like... but it's still... a stall. In the place where the stall would be. I kind of like the stop and launch again in place of the mid chorus with the Maverick inspiration. Just a straight regular shaped top hat is funny. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately after the gigantic drop. This one's cool. This is a this is a very good use of the uh, the prompt. can't say I was any expecting anybody to uh, take this particular angle on this one, but uh, good job doing it. Very nice. Let's take a look at the next one here. Alright, this one is by B-Dubs. B-Dubs 0610. time alone. Yeah. Oh my god, it's RMC Beast. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody actually did it. Somebody actually did it. <laughs> it still has the straight drop into the <laughs> helix. That's so funny. That is exactly yes. what it is. It's it's the original the original ride is the beast, and they called it the beast unchained. Oh, Diamondback, my beloved. Oh, that's a. It is Diamondback, yeah. They put Diamondback in the file unchanged. Yeah.
Oh, we're going up over the hill instead of... Oh, never mind. Just dropping down first. I know Here that JPOW has like a almost fully fledged out version of this. Not yeah, like this, but his have... interpretation of what an RMC beast would be. Yeah. I There's definitely things I would have done differently. I would have thrown in just a whole bunch of airtime hills. Yeah, I know, but that's not necessarily... Really out things in here, though. Yeah, that's not necessarily... Yeah, I think this version worked better for the, uh, the prompt. Yeah. With converting, you know, each element instead of just reusing the structure. This is cool. This is cool. Come kind of triple down. Yeah. Honestly, no, any... I think <laughs> this would have been for like the long straightaway. That would have been prime time for like a downward uh, barrel roll or something. I would have done like a downward outlaw run finale. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, although personally, I'm a fan of anything that gets rid of the beast faster. What? Beast is the best wooden coaster ever in Island, like easily. I would say that. You, it's only the best wooden coaster at King's Island because it's really funny to ride with your friends. It's only the best wooden coaster at King's Island when Mystic is and down. And Mystic Timbers is lame as hell. Nah, Mystic's great. It's not the best GCI. Thunderhead's the best GCI. Mystic Timbers is good. It is not great. It oh, is I like good. They, they kept the train colors. I like that. Oh, they put Diamond back in the wrong spot. It's still relatively close. <laughs> close. But yeah, this is cool. This is a cool interpretation. And it made, maybe it's not necessarily as cool as it could have been, but I think this interpretation is cooler, more applicable for the contest. So I like it. They say uh, park features two rides, Beast Unchained, and Diamondback with nothing changed. Apparently if we wait a few trains, it's a cool interaction, but I don't know if we're going to make it to that. I think the power lines back here too. Rides. Beast at night with your friends just bouncing through the woods, screaming your head off. It's so fun. It would be it's a really great. dumb ride. It would be great if I couldn't do the same thing but a hundred times better, like, three hours away. It's a very different experience. I mean, you know, it's no voyage, easily. Yeah. Obviously, it's no voyage, but, like... It's yeah. dumb. I it's... like it. It's, it's <laughs> dumb and funny. It is, it's dumb and funny, but I just, I don't know if that, that's enough to make it good. Yeah, I mean, it's enough to make it good when it's competition is meh. Yeah, and I mean, when the competition is the rest of King's Island, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you don't really, yeah, that's not necessarily saying much. Although, Diamondback, Diamondback really hit on the last time I wrote it. Diamondback's really good. Diamondback. Diamondback's good. I still think Mystic is the best thing in the park. I think Diamondback's my favorite thing there. Now, if Mystic actually had airtime on all of its airtime hills, then maybe that would be my favorite ride there. But See, unfortunately, I was firmly in my seat. Here's my thing with Mystic. You must have gotten a slow day, because it, it, it's genuinely pretty yeah, good. Yeah, that's what everybody was saying. They said it was a slow day this year. They said it was a slow day last year. That's how I Maybe feel. I'm just <laughs> bound to always go to King's Island when Mystic Timbers is running poorly. I mean, that's how I feel, Although, that's how I feel about Storm Chaser. The first time I rode Mystic Timbers this year... The person sitting next to me was screaming their head off, acting like the ride was actively blowing their, um, like they were having a, they were on a totally different ride or something. That's so funny. And I started laughing at the end of the ride because it was like, I'm just like sitting there and like, okay, there's like not a lot happening here. And he's like, oh my God, oh my God. I just start laughing because it's like, what ride are we on? That's so funny. No, that's how I feel about Storm Chaser. I've been there like twice and... It valleyed the day after I went there the first time. Oh my god! <laughs> I've, I, everyone's like, oh my gosh, it's crazy! It runs so fast. It, I've, I've never ridden it like that. I don't I've care. caught Storm Chaser on both. I've caught it insane and I've caught it average. I've caught it very lame, twice. But uh, no, Mystic. My thoughts on Mystic. Everything from like the drop to the turnaround in the back is like genius amazing some of the best ride design on the planet and i don't care about the return trip at all i think it paces really I, well but it does uh, yes. it paces really well to give you lacroix flavored airtime or airtime flavored lacroix i mean Ooh. which is to say that, that kind of uh, that kind of goes none. for gci in general but they make up for yeah. it with the transition so it's, 
It's okay. Thunderhead, oh, Thunderhead actually has like substance. Well, no, it's a, it's a strong transition from uh, it's like nothing, gentle it's, positives to zero. It, yeah, not but it's, but it's like but instant. But it's like instant, so it's it, fine. No, you're you're instantly way a little less. <laughs> I would I time. would say it's I would say it's zero. And you know sometimes, when when Mystic isn't running terrible, it is zero it's good. On a okay. GCI, but yeah. most of the time, GCI not most of the yeah, time. But a lot I, of GCIs and a lot of their hills, they're not quite giving airtime. Yeah, because I think the run and zero out, is what I would classify as airtime, but a lot of times it feels like it fails to reach that point. That's fair. Yeah, because I feel like the run out on Mystic is better than any single point, any single part of Thunderhead. But I think Thunderhead as a whole is a better package because the return trip on Mystic is so weak. Yeah, I caught Thunderhead the year before it allegedly started running insane. I have always liked Thunderhead, honestly. Same. Because well, I liked it. it it's definitely that I didn't like it, but then I loved it on my second visit. Yeah. No, anyways, they, RMC yeah, piece. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> but on on Thunderhead they retrack a third of it every year. I'm and it just, it just depends like which whole it just depends which third you get. Rant's getting cut out. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna keep this in. It's fine. The video can be an hour long. Okay. <laughs> the people get mad at me in the comments. Oh, oh my god! Did you see? Bro's gonna uh, get flamed. One of my friends, uh, Joel uh, from the UK, he put out like a Kings Island blog, and he was like less than positive on a few aspects there. Oh and yeah, then, I saw know, the comments on that were crazy. Yeah. I still need to like, check his... Kings um, Island locals are insane. I still need to check his Hollywood Nights one to see if I'm in it. Oh, yeah. I think you're in there. I think I saw you. I think I am. I don't think I'm, like, featured in the front. But anyways, this was a cool interpre interpretation of the beast. <laughs> Let's get yeah. on to the next one here. Alright, this one is by, uh... Ride of Pablo. I wonder what ride this is. I guess it's kind of not super, uh... I don't Subtle. know what this could possibly be. Ah. It's uh, not super subtle with this one. I like the custom track, though. Oh, LSM Low Chill. That's an interesting choice. <laughs> it works, though. Yeah. Oh, that's It'll nice. be fun. Really oh. funny to still have the super tall loop. But they made it work with the airtime hill into it. Yeah. And yeah. with the thick spine, that's fun. They're like funky layout. But it works. Yeah, although, to yeah. be fair, like Lightning Run also has weird I like the little sections like, of layout off. that are just elevated off the ground for seemingly no reason. Yeah, Lightning Run like has that. Little, like... And also the, the Hot Wheels one definitely has that. Yeah. I really like the little, like, tap down out of the roll. Like, it rolls and then you get bumped out with airtime. Like, I think that's really cool. Yeah, this is really well done change the block setup at the end a little bit but that's fine <laughs> yeah this is this is really solid that's very true to gtx you should do this well i like anaconda <laughs> yeah anaconda's all right and you i know, don't hate it when I, I used to hate it but you know when when vortex died for its sins <laughs> i kind of you kind of appreciate it a little bit more I used to get some oh, god awful rides on it, but every time I've been back, it gets a little bit better. Yeah, that's cool with the roll and then step down out. Very nice. So sorry in advance about the not equal screen time, but hopefully it's clear that uh, it's because we got sidetracked. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah, little lateral bump here too. Very nice. Awesome. Let's see the next one here. This one, I like that one. All right, this one is by Waldo Lar. Oh, it's Nitro. The, yep, that, yep. <laughs> Nitro, except it's a Arrow Hyper instead. Arrow. Nitro if it was Magnum. Nitro has haters, but I like Nitro. 
Yeah, I think it's. Just, I think BNM hypers in general are very like overhated. Like they're still very good rides. Like all of them, they're still very well, fun. I wouldn't say as a genre, BNM hypers are hated. I think it's specific ones end up getting hated by people. Yeah, See, I'm a I'm a big BNM hyper BNM hyper fan. Oh yeah, I like them a lot. However, <laughs> I am one of said nitro haters. <laughs> How dare you! It's okay. I've had I mean, I've had like a handful, like one or two, really good rides on it, and I've had a lot of junk rides on it. However, well, honestly, this is my like theory about why Nitro is hated so much. Are you familiar well, with it, riding? Of, are you familiar with riding of the bull? Yeah. <laughs> like the Ace event that's a great adventure every year. Yeah. There's always morning ERT on Nitro. Oh. Everybody who goes to that event rides Nitro in the morning and then never rides it again. <laughs> and it sucks I, in I the like morning. How they, they, they turned that helix into the magnum tender on that. Yeah, so that was kind of cool. And the signature triangle hills on the way back. Yes. But yeah, it's I like think that's... It's devil, but an intimate. Oh, wait, Lo Wally, of course it's Waldo. We gotta get the bonus coaster in the back. I guess it's just a random intimate replacing. Uh, yeah, Jersey I guess. Devil. Which, I mean, I haven't heard too much about Jersey Devil to call home about, so that's probably Jersey a good thing. Jersey Devil is a good coaster. Yeah. It is very fun. And I know they put a lot of time in this station, so... Show that off a little bit here, too. There are four rides that are great to ride at Great Adventure. You know, obviously, El Toro, Ka, Jersey Devil, and Nitro. Probably in that order. Honestly, I am a big Nitro hater, but I'm a big fan of Green Lantern. I like Green Lantern. I love Green Lantern. I mean, it's not like I love it. It's just like that's I my have that's fun. that's my favorite stand-up. I, I would say it's about the it's it's in my mind the same as a lot of other floorless coasters. It's just like you know my legs can be a little bit more jelly and uncomfortable, but it's the, it, I didn't really experience any pain on that ride. I think so, I, I was able to enjoy it. I think I like it more than most floorlesses, if not all, because I don't really care about really any floorlesses. I mean, it's just a slightly less comfortable floorless coaster with having to stand up. Yeah, but which you know if you're not. If, if you know what you're doing and you don't mess that up, it's not, it's like a slightly yeah. more exciting floorless coaster. Yeah. I, I, I didn't really get an extra excitement out of the standing position. It's just like, well, my legs are jelly, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't get like a, like a ton out of it, but it's still cool. Which is not something I can say about most floorless coasters. Somebody's getting a Zen ride. It's the ride up safety riding it in the morning. They're having a good time. Very nice. Yeah, this is very true to the, uh, the style and the prompt with the two mile an hour lift, of course. Hmm. So, very nice. And bonus coaster, as always. Let's take a look at the next one here. Alright, this one is by Kurt, and that completely spoils what it's supposed to be. Uh, I think this is going to be uh, Velocicoaster and Stripe. Yeah, it's definitely Velocicoaster. I see um, your trains. It's, yeah, it's that makes me uh, very happy. It's an Infinity Flyer. Those trains, that's a pretty neat color scheme for those trains, I can't lie. It does look pretty good. Ooh, trust lift. But yeah, this is by Kurt. Fury 325 sure. is a GCI. Obviously inspired by Fury. I have not uh, ridden Zambezi Zinger, but the, uh, the positive comments seem to be the exception rather than the rule for it. I have heard that just generally. But having the steel section with the double inverting is really cool. Yeah. And this feels like a GCI. Yeah. yeah. Kurt has actually been helping out a little bit with the videos. He's the one that does the... Uh, uh, the timestamps for the videos. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, thank you. That's thank just you, a, Kurt. yes. Thank you, Kurt. 
Because, you know, that, that just takes a little bit of extra time that I don't necessarily have all the time. God, I'm so excited to ride Fury in August. Oh, it's so good. Have you nope. not done it yet? No, I've never been to Carowinds. Oh, oh it's so 342 much 342 roller coasters, all in the United States, uh, but nothing at Carowinds is one of them. Jeez. Yeah, you gotta get on that. Oh, with the actual Fury in the back, I totally didn't, like, yeah. like block that <laughs> out. Face it up. Yeah. This is cool, though. This is... I, I remember someone else saying in the comments about this that it, like, doesn't necessarily, like... Like, the shaping isn't necessarily perfect GCI, but it's still, like, instantly recognizable. I Which think is, this is my favorite one so far that I've seen. This one is really good. Yeah, it's like and I super do think unique. The shaping is really good. You know, and it, again, it's not necessarily, like, you know, perfect exactly what they do, would do, but it's still very recognizable and within the, the realm. And also this turn is this turn is switching the Titan track and all yeah. the little yeah, boards that's really in between cool. the rails. This turn especially is very GCI, and I like the the covers. I, I didn't even like think about that on the crossovers. Yeah, this one's very cool. He says Fury three twenty five of the GCI is presented as a concept with Titan track and Infinity trains, really fast paced and intense. The original Fury in the back is provided by Coaster Mine. The lift trust is with Loud Limbs Pack, and the trains are by KW Success. Thank you to whoever made the build shapes for the tunnel, which I think is Best Danny if it's a build shape. Probably Best Danny. And Coaster Galaxy World for the lights. Very nice. Oh, I like the little like gravel around the outside too. Yeah, this is a cool one. This is a good environment. Oh yeah, this is a nice environment. I might have to steal this one. But very nice. Let's uh, take a look at the next one here. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. This one is by Mirror. <laughs> what is this in the back? Hmm. I'm still trying to figure out what this is. Same. Like, this is a very interesting pre-lift. Is this like one of those... Like, Vacomas in... No, it's not. I don't know what this is. Oh, is this gonna be the first one to stump him? Is this a Schwarzkopf? No, it's not a Schwarzkopf. Uh-oh. Is it a Pinfari? Nope. Definitely not. Uh, I feel like this is probably some like Asian country Togo multi inversion coaster of some kind. I mean, not necessarily Togo, but like Asian manufacturer. Nope. That's that's my only guess. I have no idea. You were actually closer with your first statement. Oh, which was I forgot. <laughs> The Vacoma thing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's the one that has like that helix into the drop, right? Yeah. Black okay. Hole Express? Yep, Black Hole Express. Oh. Hot dog, I got it. I don't remember Black Hole Express doing all this stuff. I don't, I don't know what it does afterwards. I knew that it has like a... Like a really big layout. Like it's really big for a Vacoma multi-looper. Yeah. I just remember it has, it has the helix drop and then it has like some like trenches later on. But this is cool. The helix, throwing the helix drop in, especially when like um, you know, like uh, Great Bear exists, that also has the helix drop. Turning it into this style is a, a really cool shout. I think it does have a dive loop too. I'm not. I'm really not sure how close it was. But this is such a cool and unique and unappreciated like original coaster. So turning yeah. it into this style is such a cool shout. I don't know what this is. Twist Coaster Robin. I don't know. It, it kind of looks like it. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is really cool. Big fan of this one. Even this layout is like concise as a B&M too. Yeah. I think it, it just needs a little work with the speed in some places, but that's totally like doable. 
Awesome. Yeah, this was by Mirror. They called it Event Horizon, and it's originally Black Hole Express. Let's take a look at the next one here. Alright, this one is by Craze Gaming. And they called it Celsius. I'm guessing it's a Fahrenheit something. Yeah, maybe I, sh maybe oh, I shouldn't okay. have given that so it's away. It's a Fahrenheit version of something else. Okay, I thought it would be a different version of Fahrenheit, but since this is still an answer. I, I can start to up the larger cool. layout. It does have a Fahrenheit lift. Oh. Oh, is this is a Zamperla Thunderbolt? That it is. A Fahrenheit inspired interpretation of a Thunderbolt. I love Thunderbolts at Luna Park, I'm not gonna lie. That ride is a ton of fun. It's so stupid. I mean, it should not ride the track the way it does, but I did not experience any pain on it, so therefore I had fun. I have only been to that park once, and it was in 2011. Oh. So not all, not only did I go pre Thunderbolt, I also went before the like retrack on Cyclone. Yeah. Uh, so it awesome. it was really good in the middle seat. It was unbearable on a wheel seat. <laughs> like, oh my gosh! I swear the potholes on that were like a foot deep. Yeah, the Thunderbolt layout is so cool. If it was and it's executed got better. I don't know if it has the... Does it still have four row trains? It's three row trains. So. On, on Cyclone. Three across, three deep. Oh, on Cyclone? Uh, yeah, four bench. Yeah, because... Oh my gosh. Those, those potholes are no joke. But yeah, the, the Thunderbolt layout is really cool. It's really good. Be, I would be curious to ride the new one that opened in China, because it's a lightning, yeah. but it's the Thunderbolt layout. Yeah. But as a lightning, so it's you know the smoother train, smoother track, allegedly on both of those. <laughs> yeah, I still want to ride the original. I need to get back there. Same. It I just, just gotta go there. It just looks so silly. It is very silly. <laughs> that's what I. That's what I need to ride it for. But they say, yeah, they called it Celsius, inspired by you know the original one or the the Thunderbolt. Layout. Say, so after going through multiple different ideas for the base okay. competition, settled for an intimate version of a Zamperla Thunderbolt. The original, the idea originally started with, is still in the park, which looks like a Batman SLC. Oh yeah, that's funny. I'm guessing yeah. you decided you didn't want to do those supports. <laughs> I don't. I don't believe me with that one. But yeah, this is really cool. Awesome. Let's see the next one here. Alright, this one is by Go For Guts 2. Ooh, I already know what this one is. Yeah, because he's been showing it off. That is an awesome skybox. Ooh, this like, is wow. nice. Oh, is it? No. This My is first, yeah. My first guess was Airy Force just because of the colors, but I'm like, no, that's. that's uh oh, not no. Really no. I will say that I've only had one ride on the original ride for this, and I thought it was awesome. <laughs> but I. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what ride this is. I frequently hear people like hating on it, but I thought it was so good. It's a cool way to do the turnaround. Yeah, definitely. I mean, really anything is better than what it has. It's American Eagle? That's oh. correct. Wow. Very, very different. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a B and M Giga version of American Eagle. I really had to put like <laughs> the, everything together. <laughs> what gave it away? 
Um, there wasn't like an immediate thing that gave it away. It was just I was thinking of that far helix, and then like the, that helix at the end that I saw at the start of the ride, and I remember the airtime hill and like come out of the trench, and I was like, all right, this is lining up to be American Eagle. <laughs> Like, I just put the puzzle pieces together. Right. Oh, I like how this is the candemonium style dive here. Yeah. I didn't even notice that on ride. But yeah. Very cool. Gotta be something patriotic. <laughs> of course, it's American Eagle. Alright, very nice. Let's see the next one here. All right, this one is by Coaster Cody. Oh, this is this is another Batman the Ride, I think. Yeah. I'm just guessing. This is the yeah, it's it's just a Batman as an Infinity. They said, "What if Six Flags wanted a new Batman clone with more inversions? Infinity oh, is the wow. only answer that makes sense. Following the same footprint, footprint adds three more inversions, and a launch lift hill." What does it have a base? Five? Yeah, yeah, five. So this has eight. So I already counted two extra. Yeah. I wonder where you fit number three. Or like a roll into the brakes. Oh yeah, it's a roll right into the brakes. That's the third one. Let's tack it on right at the end. Yeah. I feel like more rides should end with rolls into the brakes. Like, they're just a very fun <laughs> element. Yeah, it's fun just to have something right at the end anyways, because, like, yep. you know, that's your final impression of the ride. Yeah. That's what you're, that, you know, that's what you're talking about when you're getting off, off and sitting on the rake <laughs> run. On Fury, I'm still talking about the first drop. That's true. Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes it's just, you can't really uh, compare with it, but sometimes, you know, the last element's the real kicker. And if, it, you know, if, you know, it starts off super interesting and then meanders and doesn't do anything for the rest of the ride, then even though the first half could be absolutely insane, you're going to be kind of bored by the time you get off. Yeah, Alpengeist, I don't care. Alpengeist is easily the best invert, in my opinion. Even yeah, Alpeng the, Alpengeist is guilty of that a little bit. It's guilty of that a lot of it, but I just do not care whatsoever. Easy first half, the first sequence. Yeah, and I still like the, G the zero G roll on it too. So it's really yeah. just that last like helix that's guilty. Yeah, this is cool seeing the uh, Vietnam invert in the different. You know, yeah, down, interesting uh, interpretation here. Yeah. Very nice. Let's see the next one. All right, this one is by Unclink. And I think that's a uh, pretty self-explanatory uh, title. Interesting that they went for uh, wooden supports. Cool. Then we'll get a oh, this, helix this instead a of a loop. loop. <laughs> Fair enough. And they named this uh, Boomerang Hybrid, but only the B and M are capitalized in Boomerang. Oh, I get it. And the P and or. Uh, well, actually, that might be a typo, but the, the B and M capitalized in Boomerang. Very interesting to use uh, wooden supports on this, for sure. <laughs> and, like, like, Cobra Roll, it almost feels like an ampersand. Uh, 
I like the scenery on this though, because this is still like a default environment, but it feels pretty nice with the turbines and the terrain. But yeah, I'm assuming this is a typical boomerang layout interpreted as a BM hyper. Mm -hmm. Which is an interesting shout. I like the rock work too. Wood supports for some reason. Yeah, for sure. But <laughs> the reason is uh never mind. <laughs> But very nice. Ooh, I like this red wood color too. But very nice. And this is also their first functional NL2 ride, so. Oh, okay. This isn't bad for a first ride. No. Yeah. Very nice. Let's uh, see the next one here. Alright, this is called Shadow Strike. It's so by another, Cat of another the Batman the Ride. No, it's not. Uh, I, all I saw was the... Oh, wait a minute. This is... Uh, I'll wait until we... Okay, this is like a Colossus and it's been tenant version, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a tenant version as a... As an invert. Which, they went all out on the supports for this one. Yeah. The supports are not easy. No, they're not at all. I like the dual color for the big elements as well. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, this Ooh, makes wow. me miss Volcano. Wait for this last section. Yeah, See, that's, now, yeah, that's Volcano, all right? <laughs> yeah, I really want to go ride sick at Flamingo Land. Same. It looks pretty sick. I really want to ride um, whatever the one is in the Netherlands. Not Netherlands, Norway. There's one in Norway? The Intimate Invert. Oh. I forget what it's called. The one in Finland? Finland, yes. Oh, it's one of the tornadoes? Yes. Maybe. Yes. Yes. Whatever the launched one is. Oh, uh, Storm the Dragon Legend. Uh, the Gersh Flower. Wait, no, uh, maybe it is. Does it have a lift? I don't know what I'm thinking of. The one that's like gray, but the trains are bright red. Yeah, oh, that, that has a lift, though. That's what it's oh, tornado. damn. There's two tornadoes, both with different layouts, but both gray. <laughs> yeah. But they also both have vertical loops with crazy supports for no reason. Yeah. Well, no, actually, one of them has crazy supports, and the other one has these kind of more normal supports right here. Does it? Yeah. Man. I swear I saw pictures of the crazy supports on both of them. No. Nah. But. And the Cobra Roll also has more normal ish supports. That but I the would, other that one I would doesn't have a Cobra Roll. The one that has the weirder supports doesn't have a Cobra Roll. So this is. Makes sense. They're, they're kind of free balling with the. Ah. Which is cool. I like I like the more complicated supports than the simple ones. Yeah, for sure. I, yeah, whenever I made cool, my right? own intimate invert, I opted to make the more weird ones instead of the. the yeah, you gotta ones. have fun with it, you know. Just because I think they look neat, they look cooler. Let me see. They also wrote a paragraph in the additional comments, as usual. Say intimate suspended looping coaster following the general ten inversion layout. Uh, layout isn't a exact copy but i mean that's that's pretty close that gets the whole thing across the footprint is closer yeah. to okay so the track is closer to colossus with like the the wide drop but mm -hmm. the footprint is closer to like altair that has the straight drop okay that makes sense yeah it's very i totally understandable they went with the wide drop because of how the, the yeah with the, trains. With the lift hills have the weird like flat section at the top of the lift on a very wide drop right yeah out. and they said the supports are hybrid of the two intimate ones makes sense everything passes clearance i will take your word for it and then apparently they have a attempt at a custom slc over here from a while ago as well which looks pretty legit yeah. the double cork on a lift hill intimate is funny <laughs> but 
very nice. Awesome. Let's take a look at the next one here. All right, this one is by Luco. I think you've probably already seen this one. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. And I knew Luco, I know Luco's got those custom trains, so it's going to take a while to load. Yeah. I might have seen this one, but not put two and two together. This is for this competition, so I don't know what ride. Yeah, you will so, in about two seconds. Yeah. Now that I know it's a different ride. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, this one has the Google Earth scan. Oh, launch Lil. It's dope. They should build this right next to Magnum. Yes. They called this Monster LX-225. Obviously, originally, Magnum XL-200. It's, it's like Ooh. the It's Always Sunny bit where Frank confuse, confuses Monster and Magnum, flips them around. <laughs> is that what the or origin of that is? Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's Frank, well, Danny DeVito playing Frank, and it's always sunny in Philadelphia being like, I dropped my monster <laughs> for my Magnum dog. I've never seen this show. Well, yeah, it's, it's a Magnum but dog. Yeah, dog. yeah, no, I... I yeah. I'm re-watching the show right now. It's like one of the greatest sitcoms ever. <laughs> Actually, I think it's the yeah. longest running live action sitcom. Jeez. Got 16 seasons now. Jeez. I mean, I've heard very highly of it, but I just haven't seen it myself. Been going since 2005. But this is very nice here. Yeah. Stupid. Wait, is it stupid? No, there's no back tower. It's still good. Oh. <laughs> this well, is very... Uh, top too? No, I didn't in the one week that it has been open. Who are you to say it's stupid, then, if you haven't been on it? Because <laughs> I've been on the original one. <laughs> well, you haven't been on the new one. I have been on the original one. But this is uh, this is in Luco's custom style. Yeah. They have a couple other uh, rides in this style on their channel. I think they posted a video of this one. They put a YouTube video in the comments. I'm assuming that's what it is, at least. I noticed the colors are flipped as well. Yes, which is cool. And I like the tunnel as well. I also like that the brakes aren't right here when there's like this giant section they can use. Yeah. So that works out very well. Plus the resort entrance gets a little bit better uh, interaction here. So that's very nice. Big fan of that. Of course, you know, the, the Luca special, as always. So, very yeah. nice. Alright, let's see the next one here. And this should be the last one. This one is from Coaster Jappy. Oh, I wonder what park this is. And they said, yeah. they tried to build some buildings. I'm more curious about what ride this is. <laughs> it's a, the ride is no signal at least, Bert. Of course. They said tried to build some buildings but didn't have time for it, so there's some unfinished buildings. The coaster is through the gates and at the end. Ooh. Uh, it's just the <laughs> sounds. <laughs> Raven a bot. Oh my gosh, you gotta fit this in every single time? That's awesome. <laughs> Jappy, That's you're funny. a legend. Using the video screen. Never That's change, funny. Jappy. Never change. You're awesome. I should go these Maybe I should follow these directions. Just through the gate, at the end, go up the stairs? Jeez. Is this what the actual helix cube's like? I have no idea, I haven't been on it. 
Oh no. I I'm think lost. you ended up outside of there. Yeah, I'm lost. I'm just gonna um Wow, we made it. Whoa. That's crazy. What is this? This looks like Coaster Pete's Intamin trains. I like the spinning lights. Uh, I think pretty obviously at this point it's Helix at Leesburg. Starting off with an S bend instead of a straight hill or an S hill. We got an actually powerful launch. Ooh, what is this? Bizarre top hat thing. It's like ferocious. Fierce. Yes. Keeping the original uh, pretzel thing there. The section looks so fun on Helix, just like the sweeping Helix down the hillside. I was a big fan of that on Mindbender over Georgia. Yeah. Airtime launch! Ooh, yeah. Although I, have, so I haven't been on that with the new okay. trains. So I, I can't vouch for it anymore. I'm curious to try it with the new trains as well. Not as good as Shockwave. Yeah, that's disappointing, because I actually used to prefer uh, Mindbender. Although a bunch of people I know prefer Shockwave over old Mindbender still. Yeah, I mean, it was close before, but I'm just, it's probably not close at all anymore. That's pretty neat. That's a pretty faithful uh, interpretation, I would say. I'm still not, like, super familiar with the original Helix layout. But this seems to be... Uh, Seems to be it. I want to ride this so bad. Very nice. Oh, I like the underglow instead of a headlight. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's got the headlights too. Yeah. It might just be a really bright underglow. Very nice. And I believe that was the last one. Yes. So now all we have to do is to go over the winners of the previous week. Uh, now, the previous week's contest was the custom uh, giant Vacoma, or like, you know, redo the boomerang. It would make any kind of like brand new boomerang that doesn't have any existing inspirations pretty much. Um, and for overall best, in third place last week, we had Waldo Lar with Rip Current. That was my favorite, honestly, I thought. Uh, in second place, we had Luco with his brat-themed uh, boomerang, which was also pretty good. And in first place for overall best, we had Funky Penguin with a Slingshot. Ooh. Uh, and we do have different results for the best use of template. In third place for best use of template, we actually had Funky Penguin Slingshot. In second place for best use of template, we had Luco with a second place sweep there. And then first place for best use of template was Darkstar with Thanks 4D Memories. So congratulations to you guys. And everybody watching the video this far in, uh, remember to vote for your favorite one that you saw this week using the link at the top of the description. Well, congratulations again to those winners as always. And like I said, remember to vote for your favorite that you saw using the link at the top of the description down below. Uh, but with that out of the way, let's get into this next week's contest. Now, I apologize for the delay again getting this week out. Um, you know, I've just been having a pretty busy, busy schedule, as one does. Um, but in this case, I think it kind of worked out that there was a delay this week because I'm actually not going to be available for the next two weekends to make a video. So if I had made a regular one next week, I'm not sure when I would have 
gotten the time to edit the video in next week or you know it would have had to have been a one week and that would have been awkward or it would have had to have been a four week which would have been crazy but now that i'm making it on this week it should work out just fine to have a three week long challenge which is still a big one but it's not ridiculous like a full month four week challenge would be so with that said for this week yes it is going to be a three week challenge um, there were a lot of people I saw that were asking about potentially having a scenery related challenge just with like theming and using custom scenery objects and as much as I want to do that I haven't exactly figured out how the best way to do that is without completely disenfranchising uh, you know brand new users even if it's using like custom build shapes I'm just not sure what the you know, a coherent prompt for that would be yet. So if you have any ideas for that, leave some in the comments below or reach out to me and let me know what the ideas are, because I do want to do one of those eventually. And this week would have been a great opportunity. Uh, but instead, I think we're going to try and lean into that a little bit, but it, we're still going to keep a pretty typical prompt. So as you can see from the title, this week's prompt is called Island Time. And that may be pretty self-explanatory, but as you can see in the template here, which yes, we do have a template yet again, last week's was pretty freeform, so we're getting back into the template with a little more structure this time. But as you can see with this template, we have this kind of island chain of circles going around, um, and you probably guessed it already. But your prompt for this week is going to be to build a coaster over these island chains. And the only caveat is that no footers can be placed outside of the islands. So you can see all of these circle, circular like islands here. I've got a big one here just in case, you know, for like a station or something if you don't want to make a custom station. But any footers that you have, this includes, you know, any contact with the ground which also includes trenches and tunnels. You can have trenches and tunnels, but they have to be completely on an island. Um, but any contact with the ground, footers, station platforms, have to be entirely within one of these islands. Now, even though the footer has to be within the island, the coaster and the rest of the supports do not. Once you get off of the ground and over the footers, you can cantilever over the side. Supports can span. The track can go in between. You can pretty much do whatever you want as long as your supports, uh, you know, allow you to support things outside of the islands. You can go as far as you want if you have like a super sturdy base frame, or you can keep it super tight and go on. You can probably even build a coaster entirely on this one big island if you really want to. But any amount of coaster that you have between or outside of these islands is going to have to be supported somehow, of course. But your footers are still going to have to stay entirely within the footer islands. Now, with that said, like I said, um, tunnels and trenches are basically just big footers. So they're going to have to be entirely contained within the islands. You know, you can't like tunnel under from one island into the next. Um, and uh, same thing with uh, stations are basically big footers connected into the ground. So they also, if you have a custom station that cantilevers out over, you can do that. But anywhere that it touches the ground is going to have to be inside of these footer islands. The other thing to make this a little bit more interesting, though, is that terrain editing and you know everything else as usual is allowed which means because we have this extra three week time you can turn these islands these islands don't have to be just regular islands on a beach you know with like spans over the water you can turn these into whatever you want these islands they don't have to stay at the same height they don't have to stay attached to the ground even if you want to build your if you want to make your islands into the floating islands of pandora from avatar you can totally do that and you have the time this week with the three week period so as long as your footers stay entirely within 
the footer islands, you know, as it's seen from above with the top view. That's really your only caveat. You can do whatever you want. You can build them on floating islands. You can turn them into islands that are hanging over the side of a thousand foot waterfall. You can turn these into the tops of buildings. You can turn them into floating aircraft carriers for all I care. But because of this extra time and because the actual prompt, you know, it's got something to it, but it's, it's not necessarily three weeks worth of content. I really want to see people focus on turning this into something really big and special. And I'm going to be focusing on that in the videos at the end of the three week period. But that's really it. Um, in the template here, I've got one island that's a little bit bigger than the other ones so that you can place a station if you don't feel like doing a custom station. And then all of these other islands should be reasonably uh, distanced apart so that you might have to get creative with uh, cantilevered supports. Of course, uh, I forgot to mention, you do not have to use every island. If you want to build one just on the center island that never touches another island, go for it, I can't stop you. But you do not have to use every island. You can use only the islands that you want. You can skip over islands. That's totally fine. And as always, any coaster style, any coaster type, any block type, this is a total free for all. The only requirement is that all of the footers stay within the footer islands. Whatever you interpret that to mean as far as with whatever terrain you uh, decide to put in. But that's about it. This is a three week contest again. So entries are not going to be due this next Friday. They're not going to be due the Friday after that. They'll be due in three Fridays from now. You can download the template as always in the bottom of the description right near where the submission form is. And as I said before, Vote for your favorite that you saw in this week's video using the form at the top of the description. And as always, make sure that your files in the form that you upload and provide the link for are accessible to me. Uh, Google Drive does not automatically make your file that you generate a link for accessible, so make sure that the file sharing settings are correct and that Steam Workshop links are not set to private so that I can download them. But as far as it goes, I really think that's about it. I really want to see, you know, the, the creativity that everybody has here bloom with this one. Really make this something ridiculous. Doesn't even have to be realistic. You can do anything you want with this template. So with all of that said, I will see you next time in three weeks.